My name is David Reynolds. I'm author of The Long Shadow, The Great War in the 20th Century, which is about how that conflict of 1914-18 has had legacies right through the 20th century and up to the present day. One striking and really topical example is the case of Scotland and the United Kingdom. We might think that the issue of Scottish independence is a fairly recent question, brought to the surface by the SNP and Alex Salmon. In fact, it has a long history. It goes back to the beginning of the, the First World War, uh, to the days of 1912-1913, when the future of the United Kingdom was a matter of intense debate question of whether there would be a civil war in Ireland breaking up the country between North and South, the question of whether the Welsh should have more control over their own affairs, particularly by disestablishing the Church of England, and also, believe it or not, there was a bill for home rule, what we would call now devolution, going through the Parliament for Scotland. Scottish home rule was on the agenda a century ago. I argue in the long shadow that the Great War of 1914-18 helped to pull Britain closer together. Although it divided Ireland, it had the effect of making the Welsh and the Scots more conscious again of their Britishness, more proud of being part of Great Britain. And that feel-good, feel-British feeling was something that endured, I think, for much of the 20th century, reinforced by the Second World War. And it was not until the waning of that era of the two world wars, the decline of the British Empire, that the question of home rule for Scotland and Wales came back again on the agenda. We shouldn't necessarily play games about what if in history, what historians sometimes call counterfactuals. But it's still an enticing prospect to imagine what might have happened to the United Kingdom if there hadn't been a First World War. Would we have been having this kind of debate about Scottish home rule or Scottish independence a century ago in the 1910s?